Rodman does start despite refusing to go into the game late on Friday night despite missing practice yesterday. Play Ewing who finds Houston underneath. He misses the shot. It's knocked away from Dudley. Lost their last two here at the forum. Bounce pass. Might have been kicked and it was. Still Nick Ball. Ewing leads in and the bank is closed for him. Because of the new deal, it limits his earning power. He probably would have pulled in better than 20 million a year. Rodman with the steal. Keep him going in the same direction. He's undersized and then challenge him. When he spins off your body, he can convert. And how do you deal with that? Ewing, turnaround jump, way off the mark. Shaq gets inside, but can't finish. Five seconds to shoot. Now three, Kobe elevates and is way off with it, trying to follow his Rodman, 24 second violation, the ball never hit the rim. Tough shot and Kobe got a hand in his face and partially blocked it. Five on the shot clock, Ewing passes out of trouble to Johnson, who misses the three badly. Derek Fisher caught an elbow up in the area of the forehead or the eye. And Rodman is the first guy to get to him. Imagine if you were actually knocked unconscious and when you woke up, the first thing you saw was Rodman. You wouldn't be sure if you were still dreaming. Bryant to Shaq, who tried to bounce it to Rodman, and it's knocked out of bounds, still Laker ball. Patrick, on the run, way off. It goes out before Rodman can save it in. Patrick, can't cut into it as it spins out. The rebound to Rodman. Childs wanted to shoot. Rice denied him, Ewing misses, Rodman's there, and he's 6 of 10 from the floor. Johnson in deep, deals it out to Patrick, his jumper is short. All right, Ahmad, Allen Houston with the ball as the Knicks start the third quarter with possession. Rodman is on Ewing, Patrick looking to work on him, but loses it. Harper to Bryant, off the Rice miss. Here's Ward with a nice bounce pass inside, but they can't finish it. The layup oh. spills out for Johnson. Now Ward reaching in for the steal, but the ball bounces to Rodman. Trainer Gary Beatty is looking at Dennis Rodman's left eye. That's why Ori is on the floor now for the Lakers. Patrick spins by Shaq and is confronted by Rodman, but Dudley is there to clean up the mess. Sprewell's in now for the Knicks. He's playing a small forward spot, guarded by Rice. He is on the floor with Houston at the same time. Ewing misses the turnaround. Rodman clears it. And it's Sprewell. They gotta have some more balance. Fisher into the lane, looking for help. Rodman trying to save it. When we go to him late, is he going to get fouled? Sprewell tied up, but fouled on the play. Sprewell missing. Follows it and grabs his own rebound. Determined to score, he travels. And you give Dennis Rodman credit, did a nice job. He bodied him and forced him into a walking violation. The rebound to Fisher. That's what it is, double foul. And Kirk Thomas will go at Rodman. You see them battling each other there, and then both of them get their arms up. That's Rodman's first foul. In the last eight games, he has eight technicals and an ejection. Shaq catching up with the play, grabs the rebound. Here's Rodman. Well, he ran the floor on that play. That's his first basket. Dennis Rodman sprinting the floor. Look at him go past Patrick Ewing. Patrick working, and Dennis sees it, and he just gives it a little kick of speed and a little finish for the layup. Shot clock by a few seconds. Five seconds to shoot. It's Ewing from 20 feet. The follow is there for Sprewell. Meanwhile, an altercation develops. Kurt Thomas and Dennis Rodman, and Thomas pulls Rodman down. And Rodman gives every indication that he has no interest in fighting here. Thomas wanted to go, and Rodman did not. I told you they're both volatile guys, and you could see Kurt Thomas looking to make something happen there as he had Rodman by the jersey. It looked like a hockey fight. He tried to get the guy's jersey over his head. And you said, Bob, you called it right there. Rodman wanted no part of that. He didn't want to fight. Kurt Thomas. They called a flagrant foul on Kurt Thomas right there as he threw Rodman down, and then he grabs him. You know, Dennis Rodman really was just a spectator through all that. I mean, we, we talk about Rodman all the time, but he had nothing to do with what happened there, Bob. No, he was an innocent party, at least in that exchange. 
flagrant foul on Kurt Thomas. Technical foul on Rick Fox of the Lakers. You have to give Dennis Rodman credit in this entire situation. This is part of what he does. He gets under the skin of opposing players. Scott Rodman will shoot the free throw here for the flagrant. Fans love it as he hits it. Now see, the, you got a flagrant one, which is two shots, and then a flagrant two, which is two shots in the ball and ejection. One of two. Here for New York, if they can get a stop here, they're only down seven going into the fourth quarter, they would be in good shape. The score here would be big for, New, for uh, Los Angeles. I think he's called a flagrant two. I think he's tossed him. He's tossed him out of here. He's getting the flagrant two. Kurt Thomas takes his leave. It took the officials a while to sort this whole thing out. Dudley's on Shaq. He backs him into the lane for the hook. Gets his own rebound. Misses the follow. Still battling. Scooped up by Fox. Five bodies on the floor underneath the basket. Fox with a miss. <laughs> and finally a jump ball. Now, Dennis, now it's Dudley and Rodman, but Dennis just walks away. Well, Dennis Rodman's got this crowd whipped up now. Rodman and Dudley to jump it up. Lakers control. There's a foul away from the ball. It's offensive on the Knicks. It's on. And now Ewing is really going at it with Hugh Evans. And they tee Patrick up. See him setting the screen as he goes down. And he pushes Rodman with his left arm. Again, Rodman being an irritant there. Getting in his way. Patrick didn't like it. Shaquille O'Neal lost it. Ewing gets rid of it to Houston. Back to Patrick, over Rodman. Dudley trying to follow. First one was short, second one was long. He gets away with it, and now misses. Rodman saves it into Fox. Well, you can see what they've done with him without Dennis Rodman. No question that if he's right, he can really help this team. You know, Bob, this is a team we've talked about it fragile. There can't be agendas. There can't be uh, two sets of rules. This team can handle that. 89-81. He just intentionally fouled Rodman. They're going to, looks like they're going to make Rodman shoot free throws the rest of the way. So Dennis is going to be at the line. Watch what happens here. He throws the ball in bounds. The minute he does, he just runs up and fouls him. Remember last year in a game between the Bulls and the Mavericks, Bubba Wells of Dallas fouled out in NBA record time. He fouled out in six minutes under instructions from Don Nelson. And this year, Dennis got a technical for blowing a kiss in Don Nelson's direction in the game between the Lakers and Mavs about a week ago. Ewing comes free well. Boy, they missed free throws. What are you, one for two? And they immediately fouled Rodman according to plan. The foul on Larry Johnson was his fifth. And Rodman swishes the first. Coming into this game, he was 8 of 23, 35% at the line. Remember what our man Isaiah always says, when it counts, he'll make them. He played 34 minutes. Scored seven points, made five of six from the free throw line, 12 rebounds. Absolutely, get rid of the agendas, the, the distractions, and practice. Rodman was trying to draw a charge. He spills to the floor, and there's a foul call. I think he's going to call Rodman for sticking his foot out and kicking Sprewell as he tried to drive by him. It looked like he had pretty good position on him as he, as he took the, the first blow in the chest. And Rodman goes down. Watch his left leg right there. That's what they call the foul. Four shot attempts. Here's Houston. Flipping it for Ewing. Rodman breaks it up. Terrific coach. They'd make a horrible mistake if they got rid of him. Childs floats to the Hula Lakers. Win it 99-91.